what's up everybody this is cj intact from sons gaming and this is the fourth episode of our podcast and i'm brought i'm, I'm with I'm today to you, today yeah Zappo. <laughs> and uh yep today and uh uh andrew 17 and of course ludders so uh boop, boop. Everyone say hi hello hello, hello. internet friendos Hey, up, internet people? friendos. Friendos. We need like an we need like an intro, like a thing we always say. A thing tro. A thing tro. <laughs> nice. This is our thing tro. That's it. <laughs> Cheers, lads. <laughs> well, that's our, that's Cashed that's the podcast done, done, done and dusted. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you leave a comment. Rate and subscribe. Share. I love how we got our view whoring out of the way yeah, right yeah, at the just beginning. Get out, get out of the way, straight at the beginning. They should do that, actually. Commentators should say that right at the beginning and then, like, not leave it to the end because I'm just going to I'm gonna switch off at the end. Yeah. I'm, I'm so not going to lie. Face. Anyone's outro is not getting played unless there's something funny in it. <laughs> nice. Let's face it, most people have stopped watching by the end of the video anyway. Shit, dog. <laughs> right, so what we're here to talk about today, let's 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 get down to the meat back on of topic. the veg. Back on topic. Yeah. What's we the got like a bell, and it goes ding to get us back on topic. <laughs> well, we're going Again. to talk about the U-turn that the, the U-turn. Xbox One has made with right. the with the whole shenanigans with Always Online and that DRM, the shenanigans with the DRM and all that sort of stuff. So discuss. Let's talk about it. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, Luds? I think that it's probably a good idea in terms of their overall sales they will sell more xboxes having made this u-turn which is a smart move commercially yeah. whether or not it's the right thing to do i don't know i don't know it depends what plans they had in the long term yeah i think i think they had a lot of uh, idea of making it so that it was all digital mm. you know what i mean like i heard someone in machinima say that it was that the, the, aim, the aim of the game is to make it so that you don't have to go out and buy a disc you just buy the digital copy and download it yeah, but I have an issue with that because I'm on six meg connection here. It take forever to download a fucking thirty. <laughs> Until you game. get bloody infinity, and then yeah, you'll be yeah, laughing yeah. it, You're laughing to a bank. I've been laughing all at all you lot. Well, <laughs> I get that, like with the whole, with them wanting it to remove discs completely. But even if it was removing the discs totally, why would they always need? Why would it always need to be online? I don't know why. I'll connect every yeah. twenty four hours. Well, the reason for that is so they can check in to make sure you're not breaking the rules. Because if, if they if they say, yeah, you're not allowed to use someone else's game, then you need to be online for them to be able to police that. So that's why you have to be on every 24 hours. Yeah, but surely the fucking the online passes sort of gets rid of that. Yeah, you saying think. that, you can still play single well, play games, can't you? Do you uh, they pass. got rid of the family mode um, as well? Yes, that's, that's my biggest happy families. problem with it. Yeah, some families have ten people in. If you're having ten people, stop having sex. Like ten stop kids. Being Catholic. Whoa, Jesus, calm down. I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah, throwing Jesus. it out. Are you? There's no way, right? If I'll just throw this out there, okay? And this may offend people. But <laughs> it's getting a bit no offensive. Way. If you have like, say, you're a couple of two and you have eight babies, there's no way all those kids are getting enough attention. Like. Or an Xbox each. Or an Xbox each. <laughs> Yeah. Ten kids. Well, I'll have fair, uh, after, after, ten what Xboxes. is it? After you get to like five, do they just start falling out? It's like a hot dog down a hallway. It's yeah. like a log flume. <laughs> <laughs> There's no stopping them fuckers yeah. after that. It's By like, the last one, I basically <laughs> cartwheeled out. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> and just to be a jerk, I wrote uh, red, "Red was here." Um, I, I don't. I didn't like the family thing. I know Andy was a big fan. Oh really? No, I thought yeah, it was really I good. I didn't like. I, I, just, I, just I think. I think it was a, a gimmick, gimmick. To be yeah. honest. A gimmick to make to, to lessen to lessen the blow from the. From I, mean, like, the yeah, but I think it was a, a, a good gimmick. Did you see yeah. that anonymous I mean, um, post that um, apparently somebody from Xbox um, typed in? It's not it's not definitely legit or anything, but somebody said that it was going to be limited to forty five minute play sessions. Anyway, so then that would have been like it. gash because yeah, you can do yeah. that already. Pretty much. Massive gash. Massive, huge gash, a gaping <laughs> gash, if you will. <laughs> I, I, see, I was, I was, I wasn't on the fence. I'd already decided to get a PS4, but when I heard that they changed all that, you know, well, yeah, it lessened. Well, if someone says, was it the right move for them to make? I think it definitely was. Cause I'd say so. Yeah. How many people have changed their mind, or, or yeah. you know? I'll I tell think you what, was... I'm thinking about it more now. Like. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. It was, yeah, it was a cut and dry do. situation earlier. Oh, bloody hell. It's like fucking Fast and Furious by my house. So you can just see the fucking cars. Vin Diesel there and stuff. Yeah, Vin, nice. Vin Diesel's there. <laughs> the Rock's there. Um, <laughs> Paul Walker's Somehow, there. Somehow, I think you're lying. That girl that's in every action woman role ever is there. You know the, the one. Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you, if you do, right, we need a woman who is sort of tough and can do action roles. That and that's who they go get. And can also cry on cue. Hey, that's all you need in an action, isn't it? As being a bitch. Andy Gale sometimes then... cries on cue, though. Yeah, he does. On occasions. You've got a career in acting, my friend. I know. He, I know he <laughs> cries a lot in cues. I didn't know what to do. He was like, he was like losing control. I thought I had like a like a temper tantrum coming. I don't Why know. I think I've spoken my piece. The post office so long. That's my only question. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, this guy is topical <laughs> humour. Yeah. Whoa. I I I, I I I I still haven't changed my mind. I haven't either. Well, well it's maybe think the... about it more. But, it's um, like at the end of the day, it all boils down to cost, doesn't it? And how yeah. much the cost? Um, a bit less. Because it's such a gulf in price. Yeah. There's only there's only one way you're gonna go. Because if you're saving yeah. up, you're gonna save up for a PS4 quicker than you are for an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the reality of it, isn't it? If they were the same price, I'd probably go for the Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Really? Since not. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's I nothing mean, to choose between them other than the price now, really. I don't yeah, think there's well, any, any distinguishing yeah. factors apart from the price. There, there the are PS4s the are Faster and the exclusives on the PS4 so far seem to be better. I don't know. I don't know what are the exclusives for the PS4 because I haven't actually seen any. Uh, infamous. If, yeah, Infamous. Uh, Second Son. It's called. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really awesome. good. In Beyond Two Souls. Uh, Beyond Two Souls. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, is Kingdom Hearts? Oh no, Kingdom Hearts. No. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Final Fantasy. No, Kingdom Hearts isn't. I don't think Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy will be. About that. Oh no, it probably won't be actually. Yeah, no, it right. probably won't be. Uh, is the Metal Gear won't be either. Is the division exclusive for Xbox? Or no, it's no, it's, it's not. It's on, it's on, it's even on both. PC as well. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I, I checked that. I mean, that would have been a big deciding factor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, that's going to be a huge game. My decision is sometimes sort of put into question when I consider what the rest of us are going to buy. Oh yeah, I think that's a big factor. Yeah. That's well, that, to be uh, fair, that's that's what's swaying me because you guys are going to get the PS4, so I'm probably going to get the PS4. That's good. That <laughs> makes me feel very happy. So. <laughs> Peer pressure. Well, oh, I want to be playing well, with this, my Do you want a cigarette? <laughs> do, you want to do, do you want to do some blow? I do. I'm doing that anyway. Right now, multitasking. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Who said guys can't multitask? That's bullshit. <laughs> Just yeah, shit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you've decided. You've uh, you might be getting a PS4. Well, I, I want to play with you guys, you know. You're my only friends. I want you to play with me. <laughs> <laughs> you're my, we're, 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 we're your only friends. You're my Shocking. only friends. <laughs> I'm a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking broke Andy's knee the other week. No, I didn't. Um, Did you? What? <laughs> you don't remember? You? We were in the queue in effort. Um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe oh, that's, that's why, why I was crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not, it's not Snap out of it, man. Snap yeah. out of it. Oh, my knee. <laughs> look at that. We we got a full scene look there. Oh, right. I see. Uh, Lods, you posted something on Facebook the other day about uh, coming to the end of this generation and f like top five games. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're right. Uh, now I think we should do top three since we ain't got a lot of time, and I think we should just do in no order. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, not, yeah. Minecraft yeah. is my favorite Xbox game, like that sort of thing. Right. Um, so, so, top, so top three games. Top three games. In no order. Uh, Do you want to go with Exclusives oh. don't matter because it, it's, as long as it's on the Xbox. Okay. You know what so I mean? we're just gonna go yeah, like yeah. off top. Can, can can we do series? Is not 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 just games. So like no, a it has series. to be a specific game. I think. It has to be a yeah. specific game. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. okay. you put you put Call of Duty, didn't you? And that's a bit. Did. It's a bit yeah, of a, 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 a broad spectrum. Right. This this just became so much more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Gears of War two for me is one of mine. I guess well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do a bit of structure. I'll go around and ask you all, and then you each right, have to okay. name three, and you just, off the top of your head, don't even think about it. I'm trying to First think of like... No, no, no thinking, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> thinking never gets you anywhere. Yeah. yeah. yeah just, just, get some, just get some trouble. Thinking's the devil's work. Just... <laughs> yeah, Foosball's the devil's work. <laughs> <laughs> Busting our references today. Yeah, we are, I've got references coming out of my ears. I know. <laughs> Reference for days. Right, right, Zaf. You're first. 
your top three games for this well, I can give you one. one. Let me give you one first. Yeah, give us some time to yeah. think. I knew you callers. said this as like yesterday, but I still haven't. Yeah. I still haven't That's thought about it properly. Cows are douche. He hasn't thought about it. Um, I think uh, Halo Three. Oh, okay. Because it's What's such that? a that good game. Is that your top game? That's one of my top games. My, in, it's in my top, top three. Where's your rank though? One, two, or three? Oh, I'd I thought three. we weren't ranking them. Oh yeah, we don't. No, no, rank. I need a rank. That's too hard. No, that's too oh, hard. Oh come on, I need a rank. Andy, I thought you loved things hard. Um, I'm rank. gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go th uh, just three on that one. I don't think it's the best, but it is right, one right. of the best games I've ever played. Halo Three. Okay. It's got everything. It's got fantastic multiplayer, fantastic single player. It was like a step forward, even from something that was already awesome. Halo One, Halo Two. Shame it hasn't gone to PC, but I'm not. I don't run Bungie, so you know, I tried. <laughs> I can't probably, say I didn't try. I'll probably agree with you, but I broke my Halo 3 disc into about two months of playing it and never bothered to. Uh, Why did you break it? Because you were angry. No, I, I moved my Xbox while I was playing it. Ah, oh, fucking mistake. And, and ringed it. <laughs> you ringed it? <laughs> I proper ringed it, yeah. Nice. Oh, you get that, that weird scr scratch mark. Don't exactly, you? yeah, that weird <laughs> scratch mark. Yeah, it just would Shit. not play after that. It was, it, was, it was pretty bad. That's why I'm sort of glad that the new Xbox is sit up, uh, it's just sit down, basically. Yeah, yeah, you can't stand it up, yeah. Yeah. Too many, too many things lost. Yeah, so Halo 3, definitely on my side. Right, Callum, one one from you. One from me? Yeah. Um, um, you know what, I'll go Black Ops 1. Uh, Black Ops 1? Yeah, Black Ops 1. I it really like that good. We had a lot of fun yeah. in that game. I had a lot of fun. I think for the multiplayer, and it was kind of the start of sons with black ops one yeah yeah, yeah. it's always like, got a soft spot for that yeah reason. I think that's where, where we came together in it yeah we all came together as a group of friends <laughs> it's like a circle Blops jerk friends. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah but we all came together <laughs> and they were like the end of ghostbusters i like the the, the good thing about black uh, black ops 2 uh, black ops 1 it is it had the g15 what was the g15 was that that was weird it, uh, first an assault rifle oh yeah yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, it, yeah just before the famas it was the best rifle i've ever used in any game was it? <laughs> yeah, and I've played a lot of games, as you may imagine. Better than the Famas? Better than the Famas. I know Danny loved the Famas. Famas was ridiculous. Famas was pretty though. badass. Damn it, it was Danny so overpowered when that game out. Famas. Yeah, it was. I loved the Famas, but then I switched to the Org because it was, the Famas was. Yeah, the Org was probably the best one for me. Because you're a sellout. I am a sellout, but to be fair, I'm just going to go with the best gun. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know. I. I get real pressured by like, you know when people say like things are OP, I hate it when people say the weapon I use is too good, <laughs> and then I pick, oh, like... It's like a personal insult. Like you're cheating. Like, yeah. yeah, no, it's like, but I'm not it's cheating, like... it's in the game, like, <laughs> why would they put it in the game if it's not cheating? God, just like because I was using it since I was the beginning. <laughs> Cow can cry on cue. And then I cave to the <laughs> Right, Andy, one of your top three. Uh, right, I'm gonna go for number three. And I was torn between two games, and I think purely because of the amount of hours that I put into it, XCOM. Uh, I think nice. I, I was torn between that and um, Arkham Asylum. But I've, yeah, I've, I think I'm going for XCOM because I've just I've just put so many hours into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm with you on that one. It was it's an pretty close. Fantastic game. It's, yeah. yeah, it's not in I'm my not, top three, but it's 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 up there. Well, yeah, I'm not that good at it. Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> You know, people just master the games and get really good at them and stuff yeah. like that. Like like people do, obviously, do with COD and stuff like that. Mm. And I, I'm nowhere near any sort of decent level. But, but it's just so much fun to play. Yeah, it is, it is a fun game. And you do, to be fair, you don't have to be that good at it to play it. No, it's exactly. Not, it, does, it doesn't rely a, on a high level of skill. No, no. It does on classic. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. On on, on the hard difficulties, but that's what they're there for. Yeah, exactly. It's got the hard difficulty if you want it, but then on easy yeah. mode, like at the minute now, I'm just spamming missions with my, yeah. you know, mages you... and whatever, and just just killing aliens for the fun of it, really. Yeah, you guys get so good that it's just it's just basically sport. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, your turn, lads. Lads, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick off my top three with uh, with Minecraft for the Xbox 360. Oh shit, yes. that's a good call. Yeah. Purely because. Before it came on the Xbox, I was like, well, that's just a piece of shit, isn't it? Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, everyone thinks that at first. And then I watched a few videos of it, and, and you guys said, yeah, you need to play this. And I got on it, and now I'm like addicted. <laughs> yeah, <can't do> <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah, cheers. <laughs> <for that. laughs> 
I think but yeah, a lot it's, of it... it's a quality game. For, for what it is, it's absolutely fantastic. I think um, Minecraft yeah. sort of proves the the idea that graphics don't make a game. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's the concept. Yeah. Plus, what was good about it is it, what was it, 1200 points or whatever it was? Yeah. And then yeah. you were happy so to pay that. What was it? I think it was like 800 points, wasn't it? Nice. Like no, it was, it was 1200. Was it 1200? Oh, Alright, right. But the, the fact that you were happy to pay the 1200 for the original game, then think about all the add ons it's got and all the updates. And yeah, the updates how much it's grown free. since then. Exactly, and the, yeah, they're all, all free, so you, you've got twice as much game for, you know, for the same amount. It's really good. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I played it on PC exclusively for a while, and then Andy started playing it, and I thought, oh, I better, better make a move. And <laughs> better jump on board. <laughs> yeah. And he yeah, takes on board. <laughs> I'm on board. He's bored. Yeah. Um, I think another one of mine uh, is. Um, it's, it's either. <laughs> yeah, I know. Use your words. Uh, it's Mass Effect 2, I think. Too. Yeah, I know Andy personally hates space. Uh, uh, I haven't heard Luz's or Cal's opinion on it. I've never played Mass uh, Effect series. I really need to get into it. Like, I got the Xbox 360 really late in its cycle. Oh, yeah. Well, I say really late. I got it when Modern Warfare 2 came out, so wow. it was late by wow, comparison. That is quite late. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still need. To, there's still loads of games that I really need to catch up on, and Mass Effect's one of them. Um, it's on it's my a long list. Game, though. I, I got time. Well, I won't bother. I, <laughs> fuck off. I, well, I, <laughs> I, I played the first one. I just couldn't get into it at all. Well, you but, hate space though. But no, I yeah. don't. No, I don't hate space necessarily. You like Greg Miller? <laughs> dude, dude, dude hates space. Yeah. You like the Mr. T of uh, uh, spaceships? Uh, space jobs, yeah. yeah. Ain't getting no space. Yeah, exactly. I just can't. <laughs> so no, like I, RPGs, I played. I love space. Yeah, I haven't played the first one, but I played the second one. And I, I couldn't get into it. But oh man! I, See, don't no, I'm... I don't like kind of third-person over-the-shoulder shooters. I do not. No. See, no, I don't mind them. I don't mind them. See, so that, to me, that that really annoys me. It has to be really a really good game for me to play it like that. Yeah. Something like it's like Fallout. I'll quite happily play Fallout in oh, that mode. Yes. But. Oh, sh Oh, oh shit, yeah. I didn't think of that. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, there's so many, there's so many good games. I mean, that's that's in my top ten, but it's not in my top three. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, Fallout Three. Mm. Yeah, but um, yeah, so like games like Fallout, I'll quite be playing that mode, but Mass Effect, I wasn't feeling it at all. I just, it just annoyed me. Yeah, well, I'm too stubborn to start on two. Because if, yeah. if I'm gonna, <laughs> if I'm go, if I'm gonna play the series, I want to start from the beginning, and I've tried, yeah. and I just can't. So, yeah, I've thought about trying again and trying to get into it again, but I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, there's other like, better look, games look, out there. I look, at, I look at my games that I've got and I'm like, I'd probably be playing that, 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 yeah. that, that. Yeah, these, that. these games or that you know you're going to like, so yeah, yeah. you may as well just play them. Mm. Yeah, I'm so with you. I'll go with my Cal, yeah. other, my next yeah, come on, Cal. game. I don't know because there's two games in the same series that I freaking love and I might What's just go that? with them because it's, I know it's a cop out, but fuck it. Um, Bioshock 1 oh. All right, is yeah. freaking stellar. I played I that Bioshock 2 was better than Bioshock 1. Really? Again, that's what I heard. Really? <laughs> I always heard like really, really, really bad really. reviews of Bioshock 2 and I need yeah, to Yeah, so did I. That's what that. I've heard. I, I've well, heard not that... really bad reviews, but just saying it's not as good as the first one. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And I sort of that it relied Bioshock on the first one. one. Like, oh, everything about that game is freaking fantastic. The storyline's amazing. All the settings are like awesome, the art's like crazy good. Like yeah. just the attention to detail is really good. I don't think a lot of games, you know, really put that much effort in. And you can like tell that they've obviously like worked really hard on it. And I guess as my cop out one, I've already spoiled it, but I'm gonna go with uh, the new one Bioshock Infinite as well. That's freaking incredible. So that's, is that all three yours chosen? Yeah, I've, I've, I've just thrown up, I've gone all in. There's all my so chips are blocks. on the table. Blops, Bioshock 1 and Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. It's, nice. it's, it's not a bad I, set, I suppose. I haven't played any of the Bioshock series. I recommend them. I really yeah. recommend them. I've heard, I've heard some very good things and I've seen the gameplay and I, I quite like the look of it, to be honest. I was never got round to buying yeah. it. Yeah, I'm with you it as well, yeah. Like, it's one of those games I'm like, oh yeah, I quite like to play that, but I've never really got around to doing it. Do it you can pick up the first one for like dirt cheap, especially on Steam. And, I was uh, just about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, you can get yeah. it for so cheap now that there's no excuse not to, really. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I got, got it, it for I still haven't done. 
Yeah, you can get it free sometimes. I got it free yeah, when yeah. I bought Buddy Bioshock Infinite. Did you? Oh, did you? Yeah. And, and XCOM. You got XCOM? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I've got them both for free for buying uh, thingy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it, the good thing about Bioshock, and just in general as a series, is that it's sort of a, a perfect mixture of shooter and RPG. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? And the storyline's like, I'd say the storyline's like really good. Yeah. Like, it's not like shooting games where you just, you know. You, Explosions. You, yeah. It's, <coughs> it's really, like, well thought out, like, the, the, oh, Bioshock Infinite, when you get to the end of that, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> uh, right, Andy's turn. Yeah, go and say, Andy, you're number, you're number two. Okay, well, well, second choice. well, yeah, well, number one and two uh, are a draw, so I'm just going to do it in alphabetical order. Um, so, the, yeah, the first one is Batman Arkham City. Nice. Uh, it's, uh, oh, God, it's mm. good. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I think somebody yawned. I don't know. <laughs> that was a sarcastic yawn. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Me, others. A little bit. <laughs> really, it's amazing. I've it's a it. brilliant game. The the combat's so polished and brilliant, and just, <laughs> it's everything about it. The AI is not too cracking, but <laughs> I don't think it's don't bad. Know. It's it just kind of. In what way? I don't. It just enemies are stupid. The thing, the thing that, thing like that annoyed me about it. Yeah, I literally don't I, know what you mean. I hope it's in the next generation, just there's a point that they'll make AIs, like, not shit. Because they're so yeah. stupid. They don't act like... They always, like, act in a repeated way. And I know that's... Obviously, it's really hard to difficult, like, to program AI smartly. But it just seems like a load of AIs are really dumb. Like, especially when you're shooting a huge gun at a wall and the one just runs out while you're still firing. <laughs> so you're obviously gonna die. That's not what a person would do. Mm. You know what I mean, I sort, I sort of lose some immersion when I think the enemies just don't want to live. <laughs> I think they're fighting this battle if they don't want to live. They're yeah. obviously gonna die at some point. <laughs> the thing I mean, that annoyed me was the the storyline was annoyingly linear, and it was obviously linear as well. Yeah, like, I could see what was gonna happen right the way through the game. And it, and it was annoying me, so I, I didn't stop playing. I know a lot, a lot of the games are linear anyway, so you're locked into the storyline and it'll play out the way that it plays out. But it's not obvious. It's not like you feel like you're being led down a certain path. Yeah, yeah. And with the, that... The illusion of choice. Exactly, yeah. With that, I felt like I was always being po forced down our path. Even though it's more kind of free roam than it, than it than the, than the previous ones, it seems yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. It was too rigid, and, and I got that feeling, and it, it really kind of annoyed me. There's a lot of games that do that, though. Yeah, I think it's... It's, it's a, to give you a choice and then... Just yeah. not it's really a hard balance to get right, and you have to get it just right so you fool them just enough yeah, so yeah. that so they're not thinking... So that the game is not thinking, oh, I'm being forced to do this. Yeah. Um, but I think it also it depends on the game you're playing as well and if you like that game style or not. Back to a yeah. previous point, that's the one downfall of Bioshock uh, Infinite, is that you have F all choice in it all. Yeah, yeah. Like it's really that's it's a shame. Yeah, really, it's, it's sort of this idea of being on the rails, which I hate. Mm, yeah, which is yeah. why all the Call of Duty single player get, uh, what the campaigns are all shite. See, I was just going to bring up that point because I really like the Call of Duty campaigns, and even though I know that they're ridiculously linear, and there's no choice in it at all. It's just going to play out the way it does. Yeah. But when I'm playing it, I'm wasn't not thinking, there a choice in this one? In, in Black Ops 2? Don't know, I didn't finish it. Yeah, I didn't finish it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I never if, played the Call of Duty uh, campaign, hardly. I've, I finished the campaign, but I can't remember anywhere where where, where there was something like that. Apparently. But they might, they like, might, they might well have been. They might well have been. One I just of the USPs was like that if you, you know, if you did crap in certain missions, some of the characters didn't appear in later missions because they died really, and no, stuff like that. I just got really yeah. upset with Johnny Five and I just stopped playing. <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> Yeah. I think the thing, the thing, the thing about the Call of Duty stuff is, I always had, a, I always had a rule when I when I'm playing Call of Duty is I have to complete the campaign before I can go on the multiplayer. And yeah, Danny because well. if I don't, if I don't do that, I know that I'll never finish the campaign. Yeah. And also, if I finish the campaign, I know I'm going to be half decent on the multiplayer. <laughs> That's because I've had enough, That's I've had enough point. practice and I, and I know how it feels. I've got the feel for the game a little bit, so. You I'm not you, be you shit. got feel for the game in that it's exactly the same as the next one, but with different guns and different textures. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but it's just, I think yeah, it's a psychological yeah. kit. In a my psychic. in my it's approach to the game, I have to get on the multiplayer first because that way I can, you know, work out what works well, which guns are mint, which guns are shit, 
and then you know I've got more experience on the multiplayer than the people who are joining so yeah. I'll have like a you know a yeah. day or two head start on some people well the thing is I mean Call of Duty campaign is so short you can complete it in a day anyway yeah I think I think I the first one I think Black Ops 2 I did it in a, in, a, in a, like an evening I just six hours all, it? So, yeah it's usually like six hours isn't it but you don't buy Call of Duty for the single player no you don't that's my point no we anyway, no, uh, don't no, no. Lords, what's your last game? Well, I've got two. I'll just, oh, yeah. I'll just, oh. I'll just do my two. All right. They are, in no particular order, Call of Duty 3. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I knew that would come in. Yeah, well, that that's my favourite from the Call of Duty series. Did that even come out on this generation? I'm sure yeah. it came yes. out on the PS. I tell, you, I tell you what, it was the second game I ever bought for my Xbox 360. <laughs> and it's the first game I ever played online uh, in the multiplayer. And it's the game that got me hooked on online multiplayer. It changed so, your life. Exactly. <laughs> that <laughs> game <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> well, it did. To be, to be fair, it did. It, cha it changed my complete... What I did from just knocking around on single player kind of campaigns and stuff to playing multiplayer. Yeah. Playing with all my friends and, and all the rest of it. And it literally did change the way I, I gamed. That is the weird thing about this generation is it was the advent of online gaming, really. Mm. I know there was... It was on for years before. Oh yeah, and there was like in terms of the mass and... mass market online gaming though. Yeah. Every yeah. man and his dog can get online now and play online games, and you don't have to have the world's best PC to do it. That's true. You can just buy yeah. an off-the-shelf console and, and you and you're set. You can buy a console that's like seven years old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like forty p. Forty p. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah, um, and my my other game is. Another oldie, Forza 2. <laughs> oh, God, a racing game. Yeah, well. Cal loves racing games. I know. Games. I know, I know you all hate games. racing games. I like racing games. I love racing games. Um, I'm just not very good at them. The first ever game I played, it was a PC game, and it was it was an, an MS DOS game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was it was uh, Formula One racing. Oh, nice. It, yeah, there's about five pixels. It was fantastic. Just five <laughs> pixels changing the color on screen. <laughs> when it's were you born, Ludders? Like. The, 1976. The, the yeah, 70s. Like that, yeah. <laughs> was your first console the Commodore? No, but. His first I, console I, was ball, ball and a cup. <laughs> <laughs> My first console was a bat and a ball. So, yeah, that, they're, they're, my, they're my three choices. Uh, I think my other one's probably Fallout 3. Yeah, very good game. It's up there. I mean, it is a PC Excellent game as game. well, but I played that game for so long and I fell in love with the Fallout series. It's so good. I need to get into that. Really yeah. Badly. Oh, it's really good, yeah. It's yeah. insanely good. I couldn't help yeah. but find New Vegas slightly disappointing, though. And I'm not yeah, certain me why. Too. I think, mm. I think here's, here's my theory about that. Fallout 3 was so good that nothing is going to be nothing as good as Fallout 3 yeah, in that, yeah. in that uh, genre. Yeah. I'm playing it for the first time as well. Yeah. It when blew it's, my mind. So, when it's so fresh, fresh and new. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's a, it's a different story entirely. You know. The thing, the fact, the thing is, that I, mean, I must have spent probably, God knows how many hours playing Fallout Three, and I've still got so much crap to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I've like got, I've got all the DLC. I haven't even touched it yet. Every all, Skyrim never ends because the quests are randomly gener generated. Mm. Oh, are they? That's you cool. can just play that game forever. And that's yeah. not why you would. But, I mean, it's an absolutely incredible game. And Pretty I would, fun game. Yeah. Ten out of ten. It's, it's one of those games where you'll just keep coming back to it and playing like yeah. an hour here and hour there. And before you know it, you've clocked up hundred hours, and you're like, oh my god. I mean, I, I love doing my little series, my little Skyrim series, because it's just really good fun. Mm. I played all, I've done all the missions and all the main quests and stuff, and it's still fresh every time I play it. It's probably time to wrap up. Yeah, that's it. I, so that's I, all, that's I didn't even want to say my number one anyway, so it's cool. You've said number one, didn't you? No, I didn't. Right, Do you go know on what? then, Andy. No, well, I'll say your number no, one. Okay, we'll just go to end. Thanks for watching, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tune in next week for Andy's number one. Yeah, yeah. Hey. It's a cliffhanger. Hit you Go on, Andy. Go on, Andy. Well, it's. The better than any of the ones you've said anyway. Skyrim. So, nope. Red can Dead I get, Redemption. Can I have two guesses? Oh. 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 That is an amazing game. Exactly. That is a good shout. Tell me shame. I'm wrong. Exactly. You are wrong. You are That's wrong. It's not the best. Life. It but is though, it is isn't it? Good. Really? It is good. Well, it well is if it was really the best, we all would have had it as number one. That's true, but I absolutely forgot about it until Andy said it. Exactly. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, it how is you a feel? good game. It is a good game. <laughs> yeah. John Marston's one of my favourite video characters. To be honest, though, yeah, the, the, end, the ending's pretty gash. 
Don't spoil this. No, yeah, spoil it. No, 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 I'm not spoiling it. The ending is gash. It's not gash, it's just super depressing. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I mean, it's rubbish. I hate it. Like, uh, I don't want to be depressed. Also, it's got my favourite piece of uh, DLC as yeah, well. Yeah, Undead yeah, that's Nightmare. Good, Undead yeah. Nightmare, yeah, that's a that fan, is, that fantastic That is a piece lesson DLC. in fantastic DLC. Yeah, exactly. It's basically an entirely game. new game of its, yeah, in of yeah. itself. Yeah. It's brilliant. I think Far Cry sort of tried it. Uh, and succeeded, not yeah, quite to not the same effect. effect. Yeah, yeah but, but it did I well. Would, I would have liked to have seen another Red Dead. Yeah. On this generation. Yeah. Although, you know, there is room open for the next one. But I think the studio that made it shut down. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it wasn't that good then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are they? I don't know. I don't know who made it. Oh, uh, what's it? Made, uh, shut you... down, didn't they? The dudes who made um, L.A. Noir. Made by Rockstar, you fool. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, but they've got loads of different <laughs> studios around the world yeah, who might make different games, haven't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that one did, the guys who made L.A. Noir. Well, Which is a shame, because L.A. Noir was a good game. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Only for one play f through. And yeah, yeah, it's not replayable. And even then, it was a bit <laughs> boring. Even on the first playthrough, I was getting a bit, yeah, weren't you? I, uh, no, I thought it was great. I thought, I don't really care who's doing this now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> getting demoted to, like, fire Spectre. I bet you one of those, bet you one of those like guys that. who Paul just presses A them. to get I through all the care. dialogue stuff. Aren't you? No, 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 no. Story's integral. Um, but it's just got to be an interesting story. Yeah. Go, going from, from working in Vice and a big hotshot with a nice car and a fancy suit to, like, hall monitor or whatever you were. It's ridiculous. It was stupid. Paul Mono. Yeah, I don't know. But well, you're a time traveller as well. You went, you went down. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to my childhood years. So that's the end of this uh, episode four, Sun's Cast. Uh, I hope you watched it. Thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. Yay. And liked it and so on and so forth. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend yeah. to listen to this excellent Telephone podcast. Telephone friend as well. <laughs> listen to it while you're in the bath. Yeah. Listen to it while you're having a shower. Listen to it Listen while to you're it shaving while you're your car. beautiful faces. Listen to it while you're shaving your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it while you're growing some pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. In your face. Under 16s. Under 12s. Right. Yeah. Right, that's it. That's it. Bye. 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 Bye.